Okay. Now today we will discuss the mediastinal anatomy on a CT scan, and mediastinum is one of the most important, uh, you know, part that is asked to undergraduates, postgraduates, and uh, I am sure there are a lot of spotters which can be formed on basic anatomy of mediastinum. So to show you the anatomy of mediastinum on a CT scan, I'll use a contrast enhanced CT. This is the topmost scan where we are able to see the bottom of the neck. Uh, this is a cross section, transverse section where we are able to see the shoulders and you can see the cervical vertebra laryngeal larynx you are able to see the common carotid artery and the internal jugular veins and this is the sternal sternocleidomastoid muscle now if i go to the next slide now so further we go down we are able to appreciate the common carotid artery internal jugular vein and the sternocleidomastoid muscles I go down now you are able to see this hyper dense structure appearing here and this the central air filled column is the trachea and this is you are able to appreciate the thyroid gland here I go down you can see the thyroid gland better because of the iodine content thyroid gland appears hyper dense on a CT scan and this is the air column and I go down and can you see the thyroid isthmus now this is the thyroid right lobe of thyroid left lobe and you can see the thy thyroid isthmus common carotid artery internal jugular vein and the dye has been injected on the left side and we go down you can see the thyroid gland you can see the internal jugular veins you can see the common carotid artery and we go down you can see the contrast in the left side can you see the contrast in the subclavian vein crossing and if we go down this is the tracheal airway common carotid artery common carotid artery the ribs the thoracic vertebra the clavicle you can see the glenoid this is the scap scapula and this is the humerus glenohumeral joint and we go down we go down we can see the vertebra thoracic vertebra ribs articulating with it and we can see if i go down you can see the brachiocephalic vein from the left side crossing over okay crossing over and joining the right side brachiocephalic vein to form the superior vena cava this is the superior vena cava and if i show you here this is the right brachiocephalic artery left common carotid left subclavian trachea esophagus and we go down you can see the ascending uh, you can see the uh, two uh, common the brachiocephalic artery and left common carotid they seem to have a common origin from the arch of aorta and anterior to the arch of aorta you can see a triangular gland which is the thymus gland these are the breast shadows you can see the right lung the left lung you can see the ribs the scapulae the thoracic vertebra this is the trachea and you can see the esophagus posterior to the trachea as i go down you can now appreciate the superior vena cava well here thymus thymus triangular shape thymus shadow you can see the arch of aorta now you can see the arch is dividing into the ascending part and the descending part you can see the trachea is bifurcated into two and you can appreciate the superior vena cava you can see the ascending aorta the pulmonary trunk now if i see you can see the pulmonary trunk is dividing into the left branch and the right branch and as i go down as i go down you can see the esophagus descending aorta ascending aorta and you can see the part of the right atrium here part of the right atrium and if i go down this is the left atrium you can see the pulmonary veins opening into the left atrium i go down i go down you can see the left atrium descending aorta esophagus and you can see the right atrium right ventricle left ventricle left atrium and we go down you can see the interventi interventricular septum well you can see the left ventricle right ventricle right atrium and the left atrium and if i go down you can see the right atrium is continuing into the you can see the inferior vena cava and this is the hepatic part of the inferior vena cava esophagus descending aorta and now you are able to appreciate the liver on the right side this is the superior part of the liver that you can see you can see the ivc you can see the hepatic veins opening into it you can see the gastric shadow the splenic shadow is evident now on the left side and this is the lung base on the left side and if we go down further you can see the pancreas left kidney spleno axis 
inferior vena cava you can see the adrenal glands and the right kidney is now evident so and you can see the inferior vena cava you can see the left renal vein crossing over and joining the inferior vena cava here so, and to end the discussion you can see the aortic shadow here you can see the left renal vein both kidneys are showing contrast enhancement and that was the purpose of the entire show here was I, I wanted you to see how mediastinal structures are placed on a CT scan so that if you get a question on uh, identifying a structure you should be able to do them on any section on a CT scan thank you very